Hey, what up YouTube? It's your boy Mag. And today we're taking a, another look, a revisit, if you will, at the ARC A770 graphics card from Intel. I have the, uh, the limited edition so-called by Intel that's no longer in production. So I guess it really was a little limited, um, but there are still um, AIB models out there. There's a Sparkle and um, a 16 gig Azeroc that's available and you might be able to find um, that Bifrost as well. So they're right around $320, $300 for um, an A770 16 gig. I wouldn't look at any of the ones less than that other than an 8 gig 750. The A750 has comparable performance to the A770 uh, for a good bit cheaper. I, th I want to say that the Sparkle that I saw was $180. Um, that would be a pretty decent uh 1080p GPU. If you're looking for uh, a really cheap but decent uh, 1080p GPU at $180, the A770 or the A750, the 8 gigabyte, is probably a decent option. If you're looking at that $300 price point, now we're at a little bit worse price to performance than we were uh, months ago when things like the 3060 were the same price to more expensive. Uh, than the A770, but now we're looking at 30, 60, 12 gigs that are left. If you can find, you know, there's some MSI and some Zotacs I've seen out there that are running around $280. I would probably pick up a 30, 60, 12 gigabyte over an A770 if it's less than uh, 300 bucks at this point. Um, also around uh, $300. Uh, there's plenty of models, 300 to 310, 320 for 4060s and while the 4060 you know was not heralded as a great gpu at launch um it is about as performative as a 3060 slightly better you know not much three to five percent something like that if i remember right uh and it does drop down to eight gigabytes of vram but for the most part we're still okay with eight gigabytes of vram in 1080p gaming there are a few exceptions uh, you know, like Alan Wake, where it can really push things um, if you have the textures turned all the way up. But by and large, 8 gigabytes is still enough right now. Um, so $300 of 4060 might be a more compelling option than going with Intel at this point. We might be waiting to look for uh, Battle Mage coming out towards the end of the year. But if you can find a good deal on one of these A770s, um, it's certainly worth considering. As you'll see by the footage today, you know, we're getting 40-ish FPS um, in most of these uh, super intense uh, single-player games. We're not looking at anything easy today. We're running all hard stuff. Starfield, Remnant 2, um, The Last of Us, Avatar. So, um, all things considered, I think that it performed really well. Um, if you're going to play esports titles with it, I mean, it blows them away. Also consider that all this testing is in 1440p and results might be a little better if you are in 1080p. Um, but in previous testing, it didn't actually seem to make a huge difference going between 1080p and 1440p uh, with the art cards. Uh, so that's just something to think about. Um, it, it's a really performative GPU. It just kind of depends if the, the price makes sense for you. I wouldn't hold back for drivers or lack thereof. Um, the drivers are continually getting better at ever, every release and they're, they're stable if they're not as uh, good a performance as they could be. And I'm not even saying they're not good performance. I'm just saying um, there may be some more improvement to be had as more driver releases come out, but I haven't had any issues with things like crashing um, or the system locking up or anything like that. So there's nothing like just day ending. Uh, if you have issues with one of these things, it's more like maybe it doesn't give you the performance that you want, but as you'll see you checking out these clips, um, I think it will give you the performance you want. If you're at that, uh, budget, uh, entry level kind of graphics card at, you know, around $300. So we'll go ahead and jump into the gameplay and, uh, I'll go through the settings through each clip so you can see uh, what it is that it's running on and when we make changes, what it does, um, and so on and so forth. So go ahead and check it out. 
All right, I'm here in Avatar, and I'm actually not taking too big of a hit recording, so that's why I went ahead and started. I was getting low 40s on the settings that I'm at right now, which is... So, we're in borderless full screen, 1440p. I've got it set to the monitor's refresh rate. FSR 3 is on. And graphics-wise, currently we're in high. Let's go down to me medium is where it... Uh, well, actually, let's just restore to default. So we're on medium. That's what that looks like. I was not seeing a huge difference in performance um, between the settings. However, there is a big difference in texture quality just between medium and high. So that's what that looks like. Let's go back to let's go back to high. And you can see we're um, allocating 12.8 gigabytes of VRAM for this. Um, are we allocating 15 and using 12? I think that's what's going on. We're allocating, well, 15, 14.96, and using 12.6 is what it looks like. It's just, um, medium looks really good, but high just kind of really brings out some of the textures more. Unobtainium is ridiculous. Reset this average frame counter. So I'm getting about five-ish, up to ten, but more like five. Uh, FPS when I'm not recording. So not too huge of a hit. So this is fairly... This is fairly real life. Uh, I forgot what the hotkey is to switch. This game is just gorgeous. And I'll be honest, this is one of those games where, especially if you're used to console, uh, 30 FPS doesn't doesn't feel too bad. There's almost like a mini game to collect your fruit and stuff. It's kind of weird. Reinforcements? Reinforcements for what? Uh, so I want to show you... We're going to go to low. Doesn't look like it really changed our VRAM allocation at all. So now we jumped up into the 40s. I mean, it still looks really good. It's just some of the... Some of the textures just aren't quite as good... And I, I have to really get back in there and look at it. I think the draw distance might be down. Like it, uh, it loads in stuff um, when you get closer to it. But for low settings, this looks pretty good. But. You know, we're still not hitting 60, so it may not even be worth it. 
I might just be, uh, you know what, put it on high settings, have some eye candy, and, you know, the difference between 35 and 45 FPS is pretty minimal. I mean, to my eye, anyway. You might feel differently, but... Turn it back to medium. I mean, this game looks so good. Look at the ripples of the water. There's just so much going on in this thing. It's pretty wild. I'm gonna do a separate video, and uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys what unobtainium mode looks like on the both the XTX and the 4090 because it's unreal. So medium settings uh, while recording, we're getting 45 FPS. Looking pretty good. I mean, just look at all these trees, all the all the foli foliage, and all the flowers, and this is just wild to me. The colors. This game is beautiful. I think I might have said that. Ah. Uh, I got zapped. There's a lot of plants in here that will straight up try and murk you, by the way. Huh, I've never done that before. Can I collect these down for something? No, they just fall down. So I would call this um, very playable on this graphics card. I'm having no stuttering, no hitching going on, nothing bad. It's tough. Go down already. Ooh, disharmony. I'm not supposed to kill the animals. I didn't know that. So it's not, you know, absolutely crushing this game. You know, we're not around 120 FPS or anything, but we are in 1440p. We're at medium settings. It's not too bad. Immortals of Avium is a game where we don't get to select a graphics preset. Uh, we do have FSR and quality. I'm going to leave that. Uh, graphics. Oh, wow. It actually set a bunch of stuff to high. 16x on the anisotropic filtering. Interesting. Some stuff. A lot of stuff on high and ultra. At default. And we're still under our GPU budget, it says, and under our CPU budget by a good bit. Interesting. Well, let's see.
Well, this is pretty okay. There's a... <laughs> I feel like we've got a common theme here, though, huh? 40-something 40, 40 FPS and all these super hard-to-run AAA single-player games. But this, again, it looks like another one that's going to run. Entirely certain what I'm supposed to do here. Get smashed by a dragon. Oh shit. So I can fall to my death. I'm not seeing any of the weird artifacting with FSR right now. So that's something. So again, while this might not be peak performance FPS wise, this is a this is a good experience. This is very playable at this. Yes, there's better, but if this is uh, the, for three hundred bucks, this is uh, really surprising me. A patrol. What are they doing out here? And you've got four more gigabytes of VRAM than a 3060. And this is not, you know, I haven't played with any settings. I just left it at default. There's room to go down. And there's probably a way to do that that doesn't really impact how it looks very much. But this is the default settings what the game thought that this hardware should run at. And it's running pretty good. I haven't experienced any kind of aberrant frame rates. No hitching or stuttering, no nothing like that. Dude. Oh. Alright, well, that proves the point. This game is super playable on the A770. Now, Remnant, unfortunately, does not have a system. Remnant doesn't have support for Rivatuner, apparently. It just keeps crashing. Uh, I did manage to get it to run for a brief moment in time, and I saw 75 FPS with these settings, but... Uh, unfortunately, I can't play for very long or record or do anything... Um, with Rivatuna running in the background, so we're just going to have to look at it like this. Upscaler is XESS is available in this game. We've got on performance. Everything's on high. These are the default settings, so that's kind of why I left this alone. But 
you can see. I mean, it's super smooth. It certainly feels like 60. Okay, this is it. Ow! I are dead. That notwithstanding, this was playing pretty good. And I love the way XCSS looks. Uh, it rivals DLSS, in my opinion. In the few games that it works in. Now, Starfield. I was having major issues earlier. I actually had a ton of games crashing on me. I thought, oh my god, this GPU is actually not good anymore. Uh, turns out Steel Series Moments had a huge memory leak. Uh, I just wasn't paying attention. It had, I was using all 32 gigs of RAM, and that's why everything was crashing. So I stopped that, and here we are. So I've got everything on medium. FSR 2 is on. So I think I'm just on some random planet. I was just messing around. So, again, uh, you know, 30, 40 FPS. You gotta remember that the Y button is jump for this thing. So, medium settings, 40 FPS. It's very playable. I think most of us, if we shut the, uh, the FPS counter off and just played these games, we probably wouldn't even notice. Um, here we go, let's get this guy. I'm out of ammo. This really does play and feel pretty good. 60 would be a little bit smoother, I think, but this is, this is okay. Okay. 
so now what I want to do is just uh, go into space and go back to um, what is it, Aquila City or New Jemison. Ready to depart. Can we skip the local chunks this time? Never agrees with my stomach. Sure, Sarah. Well, here we are. We're still holding above 30. Now, I've played this on all my other cards, on my other systems. And, of course, um, you know, 60, 80, 100 FPS is better than this. 100%. That being said, if this is what you got, this is what you got. And it's okay. This, um, this is handling this game much better than I thought it would. I believe this is the one... I can't remember now if it's Starfield or Baldur's Gate that wouldn't even run on Arc Drivers at launch. Uh, it is a little bit uh, grainy, I want to say, um, due to FSR. That has been my, my kind of take on it for a long time now. I like DLSS a lot better. But it's not terrible. Uh, I'm not going to get into this right now, so we'll just try out another game. So here's our settings for The Last of Us. Got a lot of stuff on High and Ultra. There's his phone. Maybe your newsman wouldn't shut up. They say where to go. So what I'm gonna do here is, since we don't have any upscaling on, I'm gonna just run through this scene um, when we get into town and the gas station blows up and stuff. And then I'm going to restart the checkpoint, and I'm going to turn FSR on, and we'll just compare and contrast. I mean, it's maintaining the frame rate pretty well. You know, it's one thing to be lower FPS, but it's another thing altogether to have, you know, the kind of hitches and the lagging and stuff going on. Keep driving. I got a kid, Joel. So do we. We have room. Keep driving, Tommy. No! We're certainly not CPU limited with the 13700K, are we? Hey! Joel, watch out! 
Keep your eyes closed, honey. Me, baby. held solid at 40. Look, this is another game that's so good looking. Alright, let's restart the checkpoint. Let's go ahead and turn FSR on. Run quality. Why are they doing that? Just keep looking at me, baby. It didn't really boost this much, did it? We're gonna get out of this. I promise. I guess about 10 FPS, eight to 10. Get back! There's too many of them. Uh -oh. This way, through the alley. Go! That's kind of disappointing. Let's see if we can get over 60. He's dead. Almost, God but not quite. It. We're almost there. We're almost there, baby. They're getting through the fence. Keep going. Find a way out of here. Come on. Go. Move it. This has kind of been my experience with FSR, though, in a lot of these games, is that it doesn't actually improve frames a whole lot. Let's just try out a different, a different level and just check out if it's any better or any worse. I just picked kind of a save at random. Well, this looks like it is uh, much harder to run in here. We're still on uh, balanced versus quality. And now we're not even hitting 40. It still looks great. It plays fine. Hey, you're going to want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. But let's see. Oh, wait, here we go. So let's try, let's just put it on medium. Well, that made virtually no difference whatsoever. That's interesting. You're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. What is this? this an ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They're still. What? No? Really fucking with me. Mm -mm, Chase. <laughs> Ellie, language. Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> told you so. I guess we are... Okay, we were getting a little bit better frames on medium. 
So let's try. Um, let's try high. Oh, doggies! They're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. The default settings must be some weird amalgamation. And this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. Of different things. So what? No way, Joel. That's true. This thing you drive around. Should we try Ultra just for kicks? Fireflies were here. Yeah, by the looks of it. How are we gonna find them? I know. I mean, my brother actually. He, we're here on ultra he settings, was, still getting over thirty. Last I heard, he That's pretty around. wild. We, we are in FSR fire performance, or not performance, balanced. What do you say, you in? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, man. But it's uh, it's weird. It's almost like it doesn't does not make a huge difference hey, performance wise what the what, what the, the settings are at so last of us is playable check all right so as you saw pretty decent performance for this intel card again like we talked about earlier um you know there are some other cards to consider around that 300 dollars price point but i certainly feel like the intel card is worthy of your attention and at least some consideration uh, especially if you're interested in having 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So please like the video, give me a subscribe if you like the content here, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.